What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2021 Panini Prism Football Hobby six box half case break. Picking number five, all card ship, guys, and it is a fresh, fresh case. So here we go, guys. So we had a little do a little team random. So if you have a little character sign or a little prestige 49 pack filler at the end of your name, that means you won that from that team random slash pack filler. Everybody else bought in straight up. So again, the second half is actually down to three left, guys. If we were to sell that out tonight, I'll break it. Yeah, if I ever won a $100,000 card in a break... Like, even if I spent, like, a thousand bucks, two thousand dollars, whatever the case may be, who cares? Like, whether it was, like, fifty bucks, a hundred bucks, or whatever, like I said, I'd probably faint, honestly. Alright. One, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Three. One, two, three. So this will be for number six. Like I said, if it sells out tonight, I'll do it by 1045. Uh, we should, Aaron. Nick had just texted me right now. How many cases do we see back there? And I told him I've seen about three. So we definitely do have more. I just don't know if he's planning on posting one more uh, sets of pick your teams, like for seven and eight, or was thinking maybe, you know, uh, putting some on more on Instagram or vice versa. But I think he'll probably post up at least one more case. Because uh, the three cases I see back there, one of them should be for the random teams. And then there's two, two of them, two cases back there that are just open to IG or YouTube. So I'd assume so. At least one more set. Good luck. Zach Wilson. Yes. Mike Jones. Yes. 
Wow, this pack, those two they didn't have any color. Whoa! What the hell's going on here? This box literally doesn't have colors. What the hell? We have been officially paninied for this first box. This for uh, the, all the color better be over here. I'm telling you right now. There's no color in this side of the box. So, if they screwed us that way, I better see a color blast in this case. Nico Collins. Houston Texans at 249, and we got Tylen Wallace. Wow. Are you guys seeing this too? You know, Chad, I don't, I don't personally know you, but I know you in the chat. And that's a bunch of baloney. You're going to keep that card to the end of his career. Because <laughs> you see so much potential in him. Because if that was the case, I believe you would have sold it already. Trevor Lawrence. Felipe Franks. Down uh, to 99. And then we got Hunter Henry. Green scopes. To 49. Zach Wilson. All right, well, I mean, I, don't, I know it's late, only a couple of people chatting, but maybe you guys did the YouTube re, uh, replay video. I can't believe that, like, we've only gotten, like, three or four color cards so far. Shocking. Dwayne Eskridge. So I have a feeling that one of these other boxes is going to be super loaded in this case. Because there's at least, like, 10, 12 numbered cards in every box. And we've probably only got, like, two. Legit. I this is my first box I've ever seen like that. Elijah Mitchell. And we've already ripped, you know, three, four cases of this stuff. Out of twenty five for the 49ers. No, I don't think the whole case is like this, but one color, two, three color cards in a whole box. Thankfully, everybody bought a share of this box in this whole half case, but if this was a personal box, I'd probably want to quit the hobby. <laughs> this is one of those quit the hobby boxes if you would have uh, paid that premium price for a personal. But thankfully, it's in a group break, so hopefully it bakes up for it. And like I said, we'll find some really, really good cases, and we'll find some really, really hot, uh, bad cases, but I just think that was a bad box, hopefully. See, this one has colors. I can see them already. So I just think that was just a, just one of those Wonka, Wonka eggs, Wonka goose, gooses, geeses. Remember, they lay bad eggs. That was a bad egg. Daddy, I want the golden goose and I want it now. Imagine actually meeting. Meeting that girl in real life. What was her name? Faruka Salt. Okay. 
You know, if you believe that, Greg, I'd believe you. <laughs> she, she could be Rex. I mean, a lot of those kids now are very, very old, right? Nice, Chad. What, 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 uh, what are you looking to get for it? Joe Burrow money. Hundred thousand. All right. B Docs Weapon X. Evan with that one. It was two forty nine. Khalil Herbert to 125 Vontae Maddox sounds about right sounds about right Illumination that's one of the short print case hits Dalvin Cook for the Minnesota Vikings, and look at that, Steve Locke. Solid. 65, nice. Go look and see if Augustus is still alive, Rex. Well, Chad, hook up, hook, hook, uh, hook up your boy, man. Hook me up. One seventy five, Saquon Barkley. Gary Brightwell. All out, Justin Jefferson. What's your price tag, Chad? Mine could be ninety nine cents. I don't know what you, you, you think it's worth. I actually have no clue what that would be worth. Josh Jacobs. I'd assume his stuff probably has gone up a little bit due to the NBA Finals. I mean, does he still doesn't play much, but when he when he actually comes to the game, he scores like 10 points in like less than 10 minutes. We have DeForest Buckner. And what do we have here? It's the first time I've seen like a pink. At 140. This is actually, I think it's faded. That should be a red. I don't think they made pink like this, did they? Rashad Bateman. He's still alive at 263. Alright, well Uncle Joe is definitely probably dead, right? I assume. <laughs> he was like probably in his 60s when he filmed that. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably... It probably doesn't go for 350 I think that guy wants 350 for it. Probably PSA 10 I wouldn't doubt if it's like 300 bucks. Maybe more. Maybe I'm underestimating... Ooh, Jamar Chase. Maybe I'm underestimating it, but... His stuff has... His stuff dropped, but maybe, like I said, it might have gone up. Uh, Bengals, Sean Maddox. Devo Samuel. He would have been like 130. <laughs> Quinn Nelson. And Hunter Long. Alright, I think we... We're missing an autograph in this first box, but I don't think the illumination takes over for the autograph, does it? Unless I missed the auto. Oh, I did miss an autograph. Hunter Henry was dead back there.
Wow. My grandma almost made it to 100. She was born in uh, 1920, passed away in 2018. She was she was almost there. I remember. I think they say when you when you become 100 years old, don't you get like a hand? Don't I mean not hand signed, but like a. I think you get like a letter with the president's like autograph, John Hancock. You know, my wife actually sent sent me that article, or it was a not an article, like a screenshot of that. Yeah, I heard that he will be coming out in Beetlejuice. Whoa, we got a purple power, purple power. Yeah, you you could just sell it, Chad. I, I don't. Not that I wouldn't want it, but like if it's a couple hundred dollars, I'd rather buy something else with my money. And I can just always get Pritchard later. I mean, it just goes back down <laughs> in price. But you capitalize for sure. Elijah Mitchell. Andy Dalton. And a prison break blue Trevor Lawrence. T Law, 81 out of 99. Not as much as Markel's Fultz. Number one overall pick. Embarrassing. Debo. Kirk Cousins. To 149. Landon Collins. One seventy five Jason Taylor to seventy five Kevin Byard No, I actually like Mark Fos. I mean, I'm, I'm happy he got a new start. Philly just seems like a... Philly, like, 76ers, I just feel like they've just had so much bad luck, and, like, it's, like, toxic there for the 76ers. I don't know. Oh, Dennis Dixon. I still remember that year, 07. Should have won the Heisman. Could have won the National Championship that year. Yes, I'll say it. They could have won the National Championship that year. But towards ACL against Arizona and then got upset. <sighs> that dude was so good. I'm pretty sure Chad knows what we're talking about. We're shot at to 60. Brian Dawkins, man, I'm 
I don't know if I want to do this. Like, I don't even know if I want to do these next six boxes. <laughs> Did it sell out? I have three orders. Let me see. Uh, technically, it's not sold out. We're still two. But I would feel bad if like I bailed on you guys. Yeah, 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 Chad. It's only football. And again, you guys have, haven't really been relevant in these uh, in these last like twenty years in the two thousands and tens. Let's just be honest. Again, no one remembers Washington winning a national championship in the nineties. Nobody. Daniel Jones. Javon Holland. Whoa. Wow. That was a teaser. Javon Holland at 225. <laughs> who hasn't who hasn't beat the Ducks in the last three years? Let's say it together, please. And a couple years after before that, yeah, you won a game or two in between, and then what was it? 13 straight years again? Come on. You know this. Yeah, you want to count games like when they didn't even matter. When they were probably playing with literal pick skins. Come on, man. You know, you know what really matters is lately is like the last like 2000s, basically. Come on. From there on to now. No one cares about the previous ones. Sound like a Cowboys fan right now. Michael Thomas. Ugh, Jake Browning. What a disappointment. That guy. Again, the only quarterback I ever like in Washington is Jake Locker. So get that Jake Browning out of here. You like the Atlanta Falcons stash? I want to be low key rooting for them, but more low key rooting for Mariota. Just more. I hope he gets a better opportunity. Like, I mean, he's not in the best place. Obviously, because the Falcons are not that good, but. Hopefully, he gets time to shine there. But. I remember, I remember saying it when. When Herbert got into the league, I, I, I just had a feeling he was going to be really good. I just had a feeling he was going to transition so much better in the NFL than Mariota did. Yeah, granted, Mariota, I mean, no one really likes to talk about it, but he had like four or five offensive coordinators. He had like four new head coaches and offensive coordinators in his first five years, you know? Like, so I don't think he really got a fair shot either. And, you know, the system that uh, their coach has now fit Ryan Tannehill better, and that's just... Just worked out that way. Oh well, you know. But, but um, yeah. I just, I just had a feeling Justin Herbert from seeing him in college, and then I just had a feeling he was going to transition so much better in the NFL. Ooh, is that gold? That is a gold. Let's save the gold. You guys see it on the top camera? It's right there, okay? Well, that's what I'm trying to say, though. He's getting his opportunity to be the starter, but it's not like he's on a great team. But, you know, sometimes, I mean... Better players elevate other teammates, right? I mean... Miles Garrett. I know. 
I was going to say, Rex, <laughs> thank you, Chad. I was like, they made the playoffs last year. <laughs> they still, like, won a lot of games. But you mean Super Bowls. I mean, I think you can say that about anybody whenever their best player in franchise history re leaves the team or retires. I mean, right? Unless you're, like, the Lakers, Celtics, like, those teams that just... Somehow, every single decade, find players and teams, draft players, and you know, obviously, big free agent signings, and they continue to win every every decade. Alan Lazard. Mac Jones. Larry Johnson. And Amari Rogers there. Vernon Hargraves, it's one ninety nine. I mean, I don't think anybody's disagreeing with you, Rex. The biggest piece of your dynasty is no longer on the team and playing elsewhere, you know? Deami Brown? But yeah, I don't think anybody's arguing that. But, you know, people want to, want to believe that Mac Jones can get it done, and we'll find out. I think he does just enough, right? Vince Young? Bosa. And Micah Parsons. That's like my first color, Micah Parsons. Very nice one there for the Cowboys. Out of 125. Cowboys, that's going to uh, Evan. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to live in Tom Brady's expect, uh, shadow, too. I mean, what other quarterback ever in NFL history will ever win that many rings? Like, I don't think it'll ever happen. I mean, it might take decades, centuries maybe. Who knows? You know, like, it's kind of hard <laughs> to follow up Tom Brady with what he did in, in New England and then just in general his career. But I would hope people are okay with a quarterback still winning, you know, two maybe three Super Bowls and stuff like that and that being really successful because it is. It's really hard to win multiple Super Bowls, you know, in this day and age of football, right? I mean, there's never that many repeat winners besides the Patriots. I mean, the Chiefs obviously had the opportunity to, to go back-to-back -back or, you know, two out of three years, vice versa, but, you know, it's, it's hard. So I don't know if we'll ever see... Anything like what Tom Brady did with the Patriots ever again. All right, let's see the gold. Let's see the gold. Oh, I like the color. Rookie. And it's Asante Samuel Jr. for the Chargers. With a Henry Allard. Very nice, Asante Samuel Jr. That is 8 out of 10. Adam Kupperman with the Chargers. Look at that. Very nice. And then Rams, that's uh, Kelly. All right, two more boxes. All right, if someone buys the Broncos for 200 bucks, I'll break that second half of prison right after this, guys. And that'll be my last break. I won't be able to break anything else.
Really? I mean, I don't know. What the Celtics did was freaking amazing, but it's... I don't know how you can rig that. Celtics still have to make all the shots. I know it's scripted. WWE. <laughs> I'll be her out. Walter Payton, sweetness. We have Seth Williams. No, the question is, imagine we find out and realize it was all actually real. <laughs> AJ Dillon to 189. Um, probably still to, till from yesterday, Chad, is in my first random teams break, first break of the day, I pulled a Trevor Lawrence uh, gold prism autograph to 10. And I think that still has to be the highest value. DK Metcalf. Tillman. And a T-Law. Red Ruby Wave to 149. I personally haven't pulled any stained glass or any um, color blast, of course. I've only pulled the other case hits that they have. Um, I would love to pull one of those like mag mag magnums or mag magnus. Like I would love to pull that Tom Brady card if I ever get the chance. That'd be awesome. Taysom Hill. Laramie Tunsil. And whoa, look at that. Josh Allen. Autograph. Sensational signatures. That is a 33 out of 99. That's for the Buffalo Bills and Corey. T-Law. Devin Singletary. I don't know, man. Uh, I, I first would love to know if there is the chance to find out how many they actually created. Because someone said in the chat earlier those are like one in every 12 cases instead of 10. But I would personally think they, they printed a lot of Prism. I probably think over like 700,000 cases of this. So they printed a lot of cards. I'd assume that those those are probably out of 25 or 50. I wouldn't doubt it. But I, I have no idea what I would go for. And it'll be a whole different ball game if we find out that it's like a PSA 10 too, you know? Sam Ellinger to 225. And Travis Etienne, a little patch autograph. Numbered uh, to 99, Jaguars. Let's go to Joshua. But yeah, those cards are so cool. Alan Robinson, sorry about that. Ashley with the Bears. Marcus May. Ooh, Trevor Lawrence Silver. 
take that. A little off center, but still nice. Nice break for the Jaguars. Yeah, well, that's why I like it a lot. He looks like Thanos. I mean, he's actually more powerful than Thanos. He has more rings. <laughs> All right, last box here, guys. So, again, um, I will do that second half if it's sold out. I see, like, six orders. And, yes, it looks like it did sell out. So, that will be my last break of the night, guys. I, I won't do the random teams if that sells out. Just let FYI. Uh, I'll save that random teams for Joe. He can start a fresh case for you guys. But thank you guys for filling up number six. And that'll be my last break of the night. He's wearing down, guys. My eyes. The light is hurting my eyes. Don't fall. I know, right? I'm risking my blood, sweat, and tears for you guys, ripping this prism. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, guys. You guys know me. Even on a day like this where, obviously, at the end of the day, I'm just having my wife sign, but, you know, the no sleep. Oh, well. It's like I tell my wife, oh, don't worry. I, when I get home, I'll go to sleep. <laughs> I have the next two days off. I'll be able to rest. I just appreciate you guys selling it out at the end of the day. So. No need to thank me. Thank you guys for selling it out. <laughs> Greg's like, look, I can wait for tomorrow, bro. I don't, I don't need to bring it tonight. <laughs> That's not what other people would be thinking, though. They're probably like, nah, what the hell? I bought that into that break today because you said you would break it. Travis Kelsey. But if you start seeing my eyes like kind of close a little bit, it's because the light is starting to bother my eyes. All right. Ooh, Chris Evans. To 25. Yeah, don't worry, Rex. I'll be fine, man. I'll, I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to take those, like, lemon drops that I have here. I'll be fine, man. It's like I have to be listening to music because, like, once it starts... Dang, once it starts getting boring and I'm exhausted like this, and that's where like I get a little nervous driving, but I'm fine, man. Don't worry. And we have Penny Sewell, another pro duck right there, with a nice Sean Wright for the Cowboys. Nice one there for the Lions. Jonathan Abram. Mac Jones. Get some regulars here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that how it is for you, Rex, in that area? Like, no, yeah, thankfully I'm not like, like that. You just jealous, you just jealous, Chad. Because our products are much better. 
Who's your wa- Hus- Washington Husky pro quarterback duck or pro pro quarterback? Tell me right now. Tell me. Juju Smith Schuster, twenty ninety nine. Quinn Williams, do it. No, but as of late, though, Chad, you're not going to admit it, and I'm going to just make you admit it, though. You know Oregon has had some great prospects, uh, prospects uh, these last few years. Like, I don't want the, I don't want Kayvon Thibodeau to do well with the Giants because, I mean, he's going to play against us twice, but I'm a little nervous. That dude is such a monster. Sean Taylor to 49. There you go. A little purple for Greg. AJ Green. I mean, I don't think so. I think a lot of people hate that, like, he sees the opportunity in branding himself and stuff like that. I think a lot of people like like to throw out the narrative that he doesn't care for football, which he does. But why is it that you you have to fully care for football? All the time, 24-7. Why can't you think about your future? You know? It's like what they said about Herbert. Like, coming out of uh, college. That he's he's too much of a geek. You know, he was like a biologist or something like that, you know? It's like he's going he's gonna to not want to play football soon. He's going to bust like a Andrew Luck and just think of his, his, his long-term career. Although I don't think that's what Andrew Luck did in the sense. But he just was banged up with injuries. I think that was the main reason. But... Hmm. I don't think so. Carson Wentz and a Dalvin Cook. It's the only way. I mean, Bo Jackson did baseball, but he's he's a rare one. I guess Deion Sanders did the same thing, but I guess not really two-way sports anymore. All right. Uh, I went through that. All right, guys, there you go. That was the break. Dalvin Cook, Sean Taylor, Penny Sewell, Nation Wright, Trevor Lawrence Silver, Travis Etienne, Patch Auto, Ellinger, Josh Allen autograph, Trevor Lawrence Red, Allard autograph, Asante Samuel Jr. Uh, gold, Yami Brown, Michael Parsons Purple, three color, four color patch, Ramondre Stevenson, Kirk Cousins autograph. Uh, break. Trevor Lawrence, Hunter Henry, Jamar Chase, Rashad Bateman, Illumination. That's a case hit right there. Uh, Elijah Mitchell, Tylen Wallace. So like I said, some nice cards in here, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we had that one rough box that was missing a lot of color. So you'll notice that there's not as many color as in previous breaks. But I hope it's made up for in the second half because I do feel like there is a big, big rookie autograph potentially hiding in that second half. Um, so hopefully. Uh, right now when we break that next guys you guys can stick around and watch that and we can pull some big hits guys So appreciate it. This is break number five. Uh, like I said number six is sold out and coming up next jazbeescasebreaks.com